Hi, my name is Carly Thomas. I was going to talk about the historical figure, Noah Webster, who was born in West Hartford, Connecticut in 1758 as one of five children. Having grown up during the American Revolution, Webster became motivated in developing United States cultural independence and distinctive American language. Noah Webster had a true gift for language. At the age of 16, he attended the College of Yale and graduated just four years later in 1778. Webster was a lexicographer, which is a person that compiles dictionaries, as well as an educator, lawyer, newspaper editor, a political activist, pioneer in epidemiology, and early anti-slavery advocate. In 1806, he published the Compendious Dictionary of the English Language, the first American dictionary. Webster learned 26 different languages in order to research the origins of his country's tongue. Webster was also the author of spellers and textbooks that influenced elementary school curricula between the years of 1783 and 1875. Webster's blue back speller published in 1783 has had over 100 million copies sold since the early 1900s. During the 1780s, Webster wrote numerous essays promoting education reform and our cultural concerns that in turn influenced the Constitution Convention and the printing of the Federalist Papers. He had many ideas on how the new government policy should work. Married with seven children, Noah Webster felt that the local schools of Amherst, Massachusetts had an education level that was unacceptable for his standards. So he helped found the Amherst Academy, which opened in 1815. Webster was named Schoolmaster of the Nation. He became part of America's Cultural Revolution, a national identity as the father of the American English language, whose social beliefs and political theories influenced the framers of the Constitution and helped our sh our shape our existing laws, abolishing slavery and a safety net for the working class. Thank you.